Hi and welcome Pisces, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot forecast for June 2021. Now it is a general reading, so always trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to make sure my videos are coming through to you in your feed. And if you regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome. Love your support. Now the uh, winners for the giveaway for May 2021 have been announced on my channel. Um, I will run the names across here along the bottom. So new subscribers was Gloria Keen, Keel, K-E-E-L-E, -E, and existing member in terms of winning the Oracle decks from uh, May 2021 was Dorothy Capan. So both of you need to get in touch with me. Head over to the community tab. There's a couple of announcements on there about how to get in touch to claim your prize. Now, if you want to know how to go into the uh, giveaway prize draw for June 2021 all you have to do is be a brand new subscriber to my channel hit that subscribe button or be um, opting in to the extended versions of my readings this month you'll go into the draw to win the uh, beautiful sacred power oracle deck by anna stark and i'll be drawing someone randomly and for those that follow me regularly i'm going to be choosing a very positive community member to win the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle, which is, I've got to say, one of my favourites. So I'll be keeping an eye out for you in uh, June. And both of those will be announced at the end of the month on my channel. Now, if you're wondering how to get hold of the extended versions of my readings, all you have to do is hit the Join button on my channel, or if you can't see that, the very first link in the description box below. They're $5.99 a month. You get uh, access to the extended versions of the monthly as well as the mid-monthly. We dive a lot deeper into your general energies, things coming towards you in terms of career finances, abundance, love, uh, helping you through any challenges you're going through, as well as higher guidance from spirit, your chakra balance, all that kind of stuff. So if you uh, want to invest in yourself, they're highly motivational, inspirational transformational so go and check those out now if you do feel like you need extra support or guidance this month reach out for a personal reading my personal readings and distance reiki energy healing sessions and packages are open i'll pop a link on here and info down below follow me on instagram do a lot of daily motivation inspiration over there little motivational videos you won't get here on youtube so come and say hi all right let's get started pisces so we're going to be diving straight into predictions with the beautiful uh, Angel Wisdom Tarot. And if you don't know, I'm a Pisces as well. Let's see what you need to know. You've got the King of Earth. He's very confident. He's sitting there on his throne. He's got his coin in his lap. It can represent somebody that you're connecting to. It can represent self. It's all about financial success prosperity everything working out very well having a very supportive partner or um someone in your circle and can even be parents that are very much supporting your path at this time and you've also got the star card she's probably this beautiful glittery got silver into the water yeah um having faith in the future your dreams coming true the end of challenging times, things looking up. And you've got the Knight of Fire. Uh, she's riding a horse, so it can represent events coming towards you very quickly or the need for you to take action on something. Um, very much about going after what it is you want, trusting yourself. Ah, you got the one of fire and they're saying this is an amazing opportunity coming in towards you, Pisces, directly related to your career, things that you're very passionate about. Um, it's like if I hold these up, right, <laughs> the horse is rushing in. So it can be something that's going to come in super unexpectedly. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'll say for some of you, you've been working really hard, yeah, and for quite some time. And uh, dare I say your ships are coming in. Mm -hmm. You've also got the nine of air. There was a bit of sleepless nights going on, anxiety, worry. We'll put some clarifiers on that. What else does Pisces need to know? That's two here. You got the Empress. Very, she's very nurturing. It's very much about giving birth to your dreams, going after what it is you want, having faith and confidence in yourself. 
Um, whatever you're doing at this time, Spirit saying it's going to create your abundance, your prosperity. You're sitting directly under the King of Earth, which again represents financial security. And uh, you've got the Eight of Earth, which can represent putting in the hard work. Some of you possibly wanting to go back to school and study something new, enhance your skills. You may be already studying. Oh, that wants to fly out. And you've got the High Priestess, which is very much seeking your spiritual guidance, your messages from spirit going within, trusting the messages that come to you. Okay. And you've got the Seven of Air. He's running off with all the swords. So just watch the intentions of others around you. Um, very much particularly watch your money, particularly watch people that lack integrity. Just a bit of a warning sign. Mm-hmm. And you've got the two of air and she's uh, crossing herself with the swords. Yeah, being unable, unwilling to make a decision, procrastinating. For some of you, it's directly related to worrying about something in your life, sitting directly under that. Maybe overthinking something. All right, let's put some guidance from the Muse Tarot. You've got the Muse of Inspiration, which is a king in this deck. It's a mirrored image. It's very much about your goals, your dreams, your vision, having a big vision, um, collaborating possibly with others to bring your goals and dreams, having a global vision directly related to financial security, prosperity, giving birth to your dreams. And you've got the wheel, which can represent cycle completions, new cycles starting in your life. The wheel, it can represent the wheel of fortune. So again, it can be creating more abundance, prosperity in your life. There's certainly a need for you to co-create that and put the work in, Pisces. Oh, and you got the two of emotions. So there's a beautiful mirrored soulmate coming in your life or in your life. Um, it's related to the night of fire. So um, it can be a love offer rushing in, very passionate. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you've got the devil energy coming out. So uh, she's got strings. You probably won't, I'll bring it really close. You won't be able to see it, but strings tied to the end of the finger. So just watch in terms of overthinking things. It can just re it can represent some sort of bad habits you're getting into, um, states of being in terms of how you're thinking. There's a beautiful butterfly in the background lit up with fire, which can represent the rise of the phoenix. Whenever we have the devil energy, we can release ourselves, yeah, at any time. Um, just watch it's not the devil energy of others because it's related to the seven of air as well. Spirit's saying if you have that type of energy around you, you can release yourself, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Pull two more there. And you've got the six of voices, which means you've overcome a lot of challenges. You're about to take a leap of faith. Yeah. So this kind of energy could also have been in the past and you're moving through those states, Pisces. You've also got the Hermit, which is taking your time in quiet solitude, seeking your internal guidance, um, your spiritual guidance, particularly in the next steps of your path. And you've got the two of voices directly related to sleepless nights, procrastinating about something. She's pulling her hair out in two different directions. So there's a bit of indecision, overthinking going on, and yet there's an open door when you get out of your head. Mm -hmm. Any other guidance there for Pisces? You've got the night of voices and spirits saying whatever decisions you need to make, do it from a place of your own honesty, truth, integrity, values. You never go wrong that way. Any other guidance, Sam? It's two. Yeah, got the Muse of Voices, which again is very similar to the Knight of Voices, um, which is it's a mirrored image, being very balanced in how you look at situations, not letting others' energy affect you, speaking your truth, acting in accordance to your own values. And you've got the Moon, which is very much trusting your intuition to guide you. All right, let's put you some angel healing messages. What is it Pisces needs to know at this time? You've pulled achievement. 
It says, take a little time to reflect on what you have achieved to date. It's often easy to forget where you started from and how far you've come. Honour and be grateful for this extraordinary journey that is your life. It's very beautiful. Because often we can just champ at the bit about all the things we haven't yet done and um, kind of ignore what it is that we, or just not appreciate how far we've come and grown. Um, you've got forgiveness. Let go of the past. Clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. So this energy coming through over here could be something that's happened in the past or recent past. Spirit saying just let it go, Pisces. And you've got Archangel Sandalfin. I've heard your call for help. Your prayer will soon be answered. So beautiful. Whatever you're, whatever's related to you worrying about, overthinking about, Spirit's answering your prayers. Mm -hmm. Working behind the scenes, Pisces. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. What is it Pisces needs to know for their path? Oh, you've pulled the Duke of Shadows. <laughs> oh, this could be super interesting energy. Kind of gets me right in the heart chakra. <laughs> could be totally related to all the overthinking going on. It says, Pisces, cunningly clever I am. I'm helping you discern the truth from the lie. Oh, here we go. I remind you that half-truths may seem to be whole, yet there are shadows in information yet to be known. When the time is right, the light shall be bright and confusion will give way to understanding. This oracle brings you an invitation to patience. It's a cautionary card not to inspire concern, but rather to inspire curiosity. There is more to a situation, a person, an opportunity, or even an apparent absence of activity on success or success than meets the eye. You could imagine it being like the universe has another card up its sleeve and is yet to show its full hand. The Duke of Shadows indicates that a process has been set in motion but is under the radar of your awareness. Something is happening even if it doesn't appear to be the case. Just like a seed starts to grow into a plant deep in the earth, apparently invisible yet very real, you're being subjected to invisible but real forces of growth and healing at this time. His appearance signifies that the bigger picture of what is happening right now is not fully available to you. In time it will be, but for now, the Duke of Shadows reminds you that what you are seeing is not the whole story, nor is it the final verdict. Because you cannot know what you do not know, you will need to wait for more information to come to you. So if what you see, sense or feel is negative right now, don't believe it. You're in a time of your life where your perspective will be partial. It is not through some failure on your part, it's just the way of things at various points in the process of bringing dreams and visions to life in the world. Sometimes we're at the top of a mountain and can see where we have come and where we're going very clearly. At other times we're doing the hard yards of the journey and have to keep going through what feels like a dark night where we aren't really sure where we're going or even if we're getting anywhere at all. It's an essential part of the journey that leads us to the top of the mountain and a clearer view in due course. So this oracle tells you two things. Firstly, if you feel like this, keep going because your perspective will soon become a happier and more informed one. And secondly, don't take things at face value at the moment. Things are going to shift and change and there will be a surprising twist in your life. Though you don't see it coming, another piece of your life puzzle is going to reveal itself soon and it will help solve a difficulty or question you've been holding in your heart. Oh, it's kind of beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's an affirmation here. It says, from darkness to light, when the timing is right, all I need to know is revealed. The beautiful truth no longer concealed. I trust that all I need comes to me at the perfect time and in the perfect way. Even when I feel I am in darkness, the perfection of the universe is always at play, helping me find my way. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. So basically what Spirit's saying is um, whatever challenges you're going through, whatever is bothering you right now, even if you're connecting with people that you're not 100% sure of, things will come to light. Yeah, you'll get more clarity. Mm -hmm. If you've been worrying about a situation, things have been worked on behind the scenes for your Pisces. Yep. All right, for those of you watching the free version of this reading, those are your messages for the second half of June 2021. 
Uh, if you liked it, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button. And uh, for those of you going into the extended, wanting to get the extended version, um, there's so much beautiful energy here about your dreams coming true. Um, I love the King of Earth for you, time of prosperity. Certainly a time of giving birth to your dreams and going after what you want. Don't stop. Keep moving forward. Uh, there's new love on the horizon or somebody in your life that is a mirrored image to you. There's an amazing opportunity coming in. And we certainly need to have a look at what's going on here with the sleepless nights, the worry, whatever challenge you're going through right now. We'll explore that further. And I'm going to put Archangel Sandalfin here, yeah, that your prayer will soon be answered. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get a hold of the extended, just hit the join button on my channel, very first link below. Uh, for those of you leaving us right now, it's been awesome to have you here. Don't forget, reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need one. And take care, beloveds. Now, those of you that are VIP members going into the extended hang around, we're doing your general energies next.